Looking ahead, you're running out of time to secure a spot to vote in some important summer elections. Our Julia Richardson explains what they are and how you can make sure you have a spot in line when June rolls around. Voters all over South Carolina will be headed to the polls in a little over a month for the statewide primary. Now, one political science professor tells me that although there are some important races on the ballot, he's not expecting high turnout. Not having the presidential uh, uh, primary combined with the state level primaries makes a huge difference. On June 11th, both Republicans and Democrats will vote for state and local candidates determining who will be on the ballot in November. Political science professor at Coastal Carolina University, Justin Vaughn, tells me turnout is usually lower in state primaries than it is for presidential ones. In 2020, we had 13% Republican turnout, 8% uh, Democratic turnout, so extremely low numbers. And um, we'll probably see similar numbers this time. If either party's primaries get into the double digits, I think that's a win. Um, but that also means that the vast majority of South Carolinians didn't participate. But something Vaughn thinks may help turn out is the fact that this is an open primary, meaning as long as you are registered to vote, you can vote for whichever party you choose. The risk that people will point to in those kinds of situations is that people from one party may en masse come and try to participate in selecting the candidate for the other party. In reality, we don't see a lot of that. What it can do is, uh, is if you go to a closed primary system, you can have more moderate voters stop participating as much. Vaughn says although this primary most likely won't have high turnout, those who do come out have the chance to make a difference. It's going to be interesting to see within the Republican Party um, what the ratio of uh, kind of liberty Republicans versus more mainstream Republicans um, come out. Because that because that will tell us um, exactly what kind of legislative session we're going to have for the next couple of years. This Sunday, May 12th, is the last day to register to vote online for this upcoming primary. And if you'd like to vote by mail, that deadline is May the 13th. In Conway, Julia Richardson, WMBF News.